Well, if you've ever experienced decision fatigue, spare a thought for the team behind the Powerhouse Museum's newest exhibition, 1001 Remarkable Objects. For more than two years, curators have been combing through the institution's vast collection, selecting their favourite bits and pieces. Today, their hard work is being rewarded. The show is finally opening its doors to the public and our reporter Ruby Cornish went along to check out the treasures. There aren't many places you can find Indigenous art, wacky costumes, ornate jewellery and designer furniture on display side by side. But somehow, this exhibition makes it all hang together. We did want it to be this varied and sparkling and plenty of stuff that tempt people to, oh, what's that through there? And then go through, oh, did you see this? And, and, and I think people will make return visits to this show. There's a lot to see. Spread across 25 rooms, the Powerhouse Museum is showcasing 1,001 of its most remarkable objects. We went through a process where we were you know, pinning objects onto pin boards and looking at how they were grouped together and what the connections between the objects were. Often you just see two objects that um, sit next to each other and you find some kind of visual linking between them and yet you would you'd have never expected that it would happen because they're in different materials, they're from different eras, even from different cultures. Among the precious paraphernalia, a strictly ballroom costume, a supersized Cupid doll from the Sydney Olympics and a recent donation of 19th century jewellery. Little bits of history to accommodate every taste. There's a lot of eccentricity in, the, in this collection, but there's, it's, it's one of a kind and it's all got a backstory. Here's one of my favourites. It's a machine that was used to make mouse traps from the 1940s. It was made using mostly secondhand parts, and for more than 50 years, it was part of a production line at a mouse trap factory here in Sydney. 88 year old head curator Leo Schofield first visited the powerhouse eight decades ago, and for him, the project carries special significance. It bookends a lifetime of association with this. Uh, this museum from the time I was eight to now. And uh, I just loved the place and always found it a, a sort of place of great wonder. A feeling he's now passing on to a new generation of visitors. As I wander through this assortment of truly remarkable stuff, I can't help wondering what other treasures are hiding in the Powerhouse collection, which has more than half a million objects in it. And if the rest of it is this much fun to look at, the Powerhouse could have a 1001 objects exhibition every year for the next 500 years. In the meantime, this show will be on until the end of 2023. Ruby Cornish, ABC News. Oh, that looks great.